Hi, this is John Garber, the master of disaster, with my trusty sidekick. Welcome to the master of disaster. And today we want to talk to you about the top, top five, five network security mistakes people make. My associate David Bennett was at an attorney's house the other day, helping him set up his home network so he can run his practice. The attorney asked a simple question. Do I need to bother with passwords at home? It seems like such a pain. So David asked him whether his friends get on his wireless network when they come over to visit. His response was, yes. So the answer he got back as well was, yes. Always protect your sensitive data. Now here are our top five, five issues that we deal with all the time on client networks. Number one. Weak passwords. You know you need to have a stronger password, yet password is still the number one password used by computer users. For maximum security, your password should contain numbers and letters, both upper and lower case combined. Number two. two. Lack of education. Most viruses and spyware are invited in by the user. Therefore, if you want to make sure your employees don't download viruses, Take the time to educate them on what new viruses are circulating and about common scams. Number three. three. Lack of maintenance. A lack of maintenance. No software is perfect, which means security loopholes will be exploited by hackers the minute they are discovered. That's why it's critical to keep your security patches up to date. Number four. Plug and surf. Plug and surf. Computers are not designed ready to go out of the box. Before a phone line or Ethernet cable or DSL or wireless card is anywhere near a new computer, certain security needs to be installed and configured. Ideally, this should include virus protection, multiple spyware scanners, and a program that runs in the background to prevent malicious software from ever being installed. Number five. five. Do it yourself. Setting up a network, applying proper security measures, and downloading and installing software can be tricky. Large companies have big internal IT departments. Small businesses should also ask for advice or even hire help. It's worth the extra cost in the long run. Now we perform about three to four network assessments a month, and I am constantly amazed at the number of networks that are virtually unprotected. In almost every case, the owner thought they were protected. They thought they're IT guy was taking care of things. Well, if you'd like to have your network checked free of charge, let us know. There'll be a link below. And since hurricane season is right around the corner, we'll even provide a complimentary risk assessment. So look for a link below to request a checkup. We're happy to help. So remember, this is John Garber, the Master of Disaster, and Rocco the Real Master of Disaster. And we're asking you what would you do if Godzilla stepped on your business? Bye!